and good morning people welcome back to the legend of dragoon we are almost there on the backdrop of well neat burning that's what he's showing on the wall there time to go into the final areas of this we literally are right there. I doubt we'll get another fight before the end. Normal fight, that is. Convenient save point there. And this. This is the detonator arrow. This is a weapon for Miranda. It is technically her best weapon. Essentially what it is, is... You, I'm not certain if I used the detonate rock way, way back. I think I did. But it's essentially that in a bow form for Miranda. She fires detonate arrows and they hit everyone in that group it's okay but this is Miranda's attack power we're talking about this gives her a total of 104 um, not that much quicker than um, that much better than Mary than Mary uh, definitely not not any better than anyone else it does bring them up to a, I guess, at some amount, but yeah. Plus it does hit everything. However, we're not fighting anything. We're not fighting multiple groups now. We are at the end of the game. She gets this at this point, and it's pretty much useless. So, let's move on. Let's get to the end. Let's see what's waiting for us. One thing is waiting for us. Eh, Shana. Also, though, um... Yeah, Dara, you really should hold on to that thing a bit more. That's the second time you've lost it because someone has hit you in the chest with a weapon. Problem for this particular moment though. Uh, this is Zeke. He's the original bearer of the Red Eye Dragoon. Um, yeah. He can still use it. And the annihilation of the world that is about to occur is the truth as well. Well, not if we can do anything about it, and you're the only thing standing in the way between us and Sean. Bring it. Learn for your body. So will you. Zeke Feld, as he's called. Yeah. 
the Red Eyed Dragoon, the original. If you think he's almost exactly the same as um, Dart, um, you'd be absolutely right. He has all the skills. He has uh, Flame Burst, he has Explosion, he has uh, Flame Shot, he has the Red Eyed Dragoon, uh, Red Eyed Dragon. You'd think bringing Meru is a bad idea. It is a little bit, but not as bad as you might think. It's also a good thing if you want to use Dragoons. I'm not going to be, but if you want to use Dragoons, Meru is a great person to bring in. Water against fire? Sure. And I have equipped the Red Eyed Stone onto Meru so she is half in fire damage. So if she does get attacked by Zeke, she's not taking as much damage. That's as long as it's not, um, the, uh, she doesn't get hit by the physicals. The physicals still hurt a lot. So, Zig failed. I think it's around about 15,000 health that he's got. Something like that. And uh, can I actually not <laughs> get the combos wrong? And, yeah. Meru's first option is going to be to throw the sight bomb. Where were you throwing that? It uh, doesn't matter. Still hits him for 2,400. Did that even do damage? Oh, hmm. That's flame burst. Oh, no, final burst. Not quite the same as what you'd expect. As what Dart does, but then again, this is Zeke's way of doing it. Zeke's, Zeke's way of doing it. Um, yeah, uh, Dart's immune. Yeah, that's his father's power. Problem is, on Dart, it really doesn't matter. He's got the fire. The fire. Um. The red dragon arm and dragoon arm. He can't get hit by fire. It is nice to see, though, that although the dragoons from the other dragoons when we fought them had exactly the same um, animations. Zeke has his own way of doing things. Dart, uh, Darts, Dart and Zeke are still two very separate people, despite being far from the sun. And you get to see that in the way Zeke does his attacks. So, can we do damage this time? Yes, we can. Good. That's <laughs> that's important. 
and it's important that diet can do damage. Uh, that's those you're going after, by the way, Zeke. Hmm. Yeah, even that was slight. Oh, thank you for the miss. Uh, even that was slightly different. You might have noticed some subtle differences to what Dart does, even on the combo. It's there. It's the same, um, same sort of thing, but there are subtle differences. You're already 50 percent. Maybe you have less health than I thought. Maybe it's only ten or twelve thousand. Still, in terms of this particular fight, you really don't need to worry about this. You can lose it, but it's very difficult to if you've got the red eye, uh, the red dragoon armor, because Dart is immune to almost everything that Fel uh, Ziegfeld does. The only thing that he might get hurt by is the physicals, and Zig doesn't really do them that often, I feel. Ah, but here you're in the red. Didn't quite get that. Not really doing too well with the, uh, Oh, that's dragon magic. Uh, that's going to help. Not doing too well with the combos recently, though. Since I came back to the game. Oh well. The dragon should be the same as what Dart did, because... It's the dragon. Would like to see an explosion, if possible. Just to see what he does for that. And you know what? I've got plenty of healing reins. We're going to use one of those and we're going to defend until he uses it. The fight's won. We, we've won. It's just, let's see his version of explosion, if he does it. You have not had much luck with those attacks, have you? I think... Th not sure... Maybe the dragon was a counter. The, dr the dragon attack might have been a counter. I'm stalled in this fight out for long, longer than I normally do. Usually I just win the fight because it's not really that special. Explosion? No. Oh. Flame shot. Good job you're defending, Mary. Ooh. Actually, that was... That really didn't do too much, did it? But then again, she's got the, uh, the red-eyed stone on her. It shouldn't do that much damage.
any time you want to do explosion Zeke then we can win this fight You know what? I'm beginning to think he doesn't actually have it. And I'm trying to think back <laughs> to the Dragoons. And it actually makes sense that he doesn't. Because we go with each of the other ones. I don't think they had they had their second ones either. Seville, the winner, uh, the Jade Dragoon, and didn't have Rose, Rose Storm. Uh, Demora? The, the Meru's ancestor, no, Meru's uh, previous. Us didn't have Rainbow Breath. I don't think Kansas had Thunder Kid and Belzac only had three anyway. So we've seen Final Burst, we've seen Flame Shot, we've seen the Dragon. Maybe he doesn't have Explosion. I seem to remember that he did, but maybe I'm just mis no, misremembering. It's entirely possible. I haven't done this fight for years. So let's just finish it up. Of course you had to miss your combo, still. You got pushed back. Hmm. Ah, so it was just a stalling method. No longer need this flesh. What are you talking about? Melbu Farmer. the wingly who was in charge of it all 11,000 years ago the one that crossed swords with Zeke apparently it's not only Zeke that crossed through the time through being in that stone body Is it surprising? Um, if you read, if you've gone through the game and paid attention, it shouldn't be. The game is very, very bad at holding secrets after all. How can Zeke, a human, use magic? How could Zeke, a human, become unpetrified from a spell from a Wingly that died? Well, that's because the Wingly didn't actually die and uh, just reversed the spell himself. 
had control of Zeke and has bringing uh, his his plans are coming to fruition because everything that's been wanting to be done is by his hand. And if you, you know, think about it as well, Zeke's words, a lot of them were more what a Wingley would say than a human. So, 20,000 experience, so that was around 6,666 to each one. The famous Melbu farmer. Um, let's uh, just say more infamous. Descended to the present over 10,000 years. The supreme leader of the Winglies. He was. This isn't Melbu farmer himself. This is his soul. Cast a petrifying spell on him. At the same time, transmigrated his soul to the spirit. What spirit? The red-eyed dragon, sp dragon spirit. He transferred it into that. If you remember the cutscene for Neat when Zeke went back in to look for survivors. You could hear the dragoon spirit, uh, the dragoon spirit being activated. That was the moment Malbu Farmer was released. The black monster came to Neat. Tried to release the power of the dragon, uh, of the dragoon, without knowing that Melbu Farmer was waiting for that very moment. That is when Melbu Farmer took over and started his machinations. And his goal is not to gain him to really do what he did before. He he's had a look around. He knows what that the Winglies on in this era are pretty much a shadow of their former selves. He wants something bigger. He needs a body. He would like an eternal body. And um, there's one right here. His plan was never to have Shana take over the body as the soul, no. His goal was to take it himself. It really doesn't matter uh, what type of soul goes into that body. It really, um, really didn't. 
it just needs a soul and because Mel Buffon was so powerful he sort of gets to control it a little bit more most likely Shana would have been overwhelmed by the Vraj embryo with Mel Buffon's soul not quite as likely um who said that um Lloyd didn't we last see you go crashing down into the abyss in completely forgotten the name of it in the place but uh, when we fought on her face faced up against well when we met Zeke for the first time Well, um, Lloyd, you tried. Of course, you're not going down without giving us a few gifts. Dragoon Spirit of the Divine Dragon and the Dragon Buster. Um, yeah, he's been holding on to these. The Dragoon Buster for no, Dragon Buster for a very long time. The Dragoon Spirit since we faced up against the Dragoon, uh, the Divine Dragon. No, he wasn't originally. He's always been about his idea, his utopia, and yeah, he might have got a shock that the divine moon objects were not for what he planned, but he's never gave up on that. The thing about... Well, we'll see you later, Foot Lloyd. The thing about the Divine Dragon Spirit... Um... And the Dragon Buster. Um, 
we actually have a user for it. It's someone who's been sort of tied to it, you might say. If you remember back in Denningrad, way, way long ago, there was someone that was resonating with it. As for the Dragon Buster, it is the strongest weapon in the game. Bar none. So, obviously, it goes to Rose. Wait, did you think I was going to say Dart? No, Dragon Buster goes to Rose. It's an increase of 60 <laughs> over her best, which puts her up in the helm of where Dart is with the Soul Eater. Yeah, that's mm. yeah. Does it have a special animation in battle? No, unfortunately not. She's still got her old rapier in as a combat sprite, but we've got the Dragon Buster now. We're equipping it. Rose is going to be in my final team, along with Meru. We could just sit here and wait here, here and just stare at him all day. Just going to give a little tour, but ended up coming all the way here. But she was right. Right in following Dart and the rest of us. She's found what she, look, uh, she was looking for. She's seen the world. She's seen what it's like. And she wants to be a part of it. And she wants the Wingleys to be a part of it. Mobile Farmer is not going to let that and let it stand in that in her way. How are you doing, Rose? We have. Been, uh, it feels a long time ago, doesn't it? Yeah, this is the end of the road. Time to finish it. Get to our destination. No. Not at all. Didn't understand the daughter's pain, and now, well, with that little interaction earlier, maybe he does a little bit. Hoping on it. T 
to learn the meaning of the fate that Thor gives us gave us. Fate belongs to those who are living. Um, destroy the fate that someone else made up. And if you think about it, that being over there is not living. He can't make the fate. He died 11,000 years ago. To make this world where all species are equal, a strong leader is needed. Yeah, Kongo's found out that anyone can do it. You just gotta work for it. Anyone can destroy the world too. But we can also stop that one that's trying to do it. Because we're the Dragoons. We don't fear gods. We can go back to town, we can go and buy things, we can go and rest. I don't need to do that. I've used one healing potion and that's good enough for me. So next time, Melbu Frama. The instigator behind all of this wasn't Lloyd wasn't Zeke. It was Melbu Farmer. No one else stands in the way. Sure, he's got the body of a god. But we're the dragoons. We will win.